earthquakes can cause widespread destruction and loss. Developing countries are hardest hit, mainly because weak buildings and infrastructure collapse on people during quakes. Worldwide, millions of children attend schools that would be unsafe in the event of an earthquake. One effective way to deal with this threat is to prepare schools before earthquakes occur. Located in the Himalayas, Bhutan is in a high-risk seismic zone and is no stranger to earthquakes. The two moderate earthquakes of 2009 and 2011 resulted in damages to more than 150 schools in Bhutan. Moderate earthquake events experienced by Bhutan and the recent magnitude 7.9 Nepal earthquake are indicative of what would happen in terms of death, injury and destruction of property should a large earthquake occur with its epicenter located within or close to the country. The best way to protect school kids during earthquakes is to build safe schools. Unfortunately, many of Bhutan's schools, particularly the oldest ones, were not built to resist earthquakes. Walls and ceilings will collapse. Bhutan is planning to build safe schools, but this is going to take money and time and an earthquake can happen any day. A strong desk, which we call an earthquake desk, can offer protection for kids right away. Schools are among the most vulnerable, and Bhutan's Ministry of Education has been trying to make schools safer. Geohazards International, GHI, has been collaborating with the ministry and most recently introduced the unique earthquake desk with the plan to teach Bhutanese furniture manufacturers to make the desks locally. The earthquake desk was invented by Ido Bruno and Arthur Bruter of the Bezalel Academy in Jerusalem, Israel. One of the pictures really caught my eye was a classroom collapsed totally on the children and they were all crushed under the desks. Unlike common school desks, the earthquake protective desk is designed as a life-saving device under which children can seek shelter during an earthquake. Ido and Arthur traveled to Bhutan in January 2016 to train five local furniture manufacturing firms in a week-long program facilitated by the Ministry of Education and Geohazards International with support from AIR Worldwide, a Verisk analytics company. Within a span of one week, local manufacturers and their welders and carpenters were not only able to understand the importance and value of the earthquake school desk as a life safety device for school children, but also worked together to produce the first 14 locally manufactured earthquake desks in Bhutan. And hopefully there will be found the, the right budget for this because these tables, of course, they're not only tables, they're also safety equipment. So they, they cost more than a standard table, but they also give you more than a standard table. The week-long training ended with impact tests carried out in the presence of representatives from the Ministry of Education, schools, armed forces and local media. The excited crowd witnessed firsthand how a standard school desk crumbled to pieces under a 356 kilogram load. While in the second test, the locally manufactured earthquake desk withstood a far greater load of 422 kilograms. This pilot project is an example of successful collaboration between various partners, the government, an NGO, private companies, and the right academic and technical experts. I feel while uh, we don't have much money to actually retrofit the school buildings or concept school, new schools, the, the cheapest and economical way of saving lives of our school children would be to have uh, these type of uh, uh, school desk. The earthquake protective desks produced in Bhutan are a visible reminder of the earthquake risk in Bhutan and the need to prepare. It is also a symbol of positive collaboration and joint aspiration of all partners in this endeavor to reduce risks and minimize loss of lives during earthquakes. Maybe in, I think, three years time, four years time, 
we really be uh, we, we could be really proud and say that uh, we remember that time so many years ago when we made the first earthquake table uh, in Bhutan. Remember that time? Look, now every school has them. Uh, they're all over the place. Uh, Bhutan's children are protected.